All right, guys, we are bringing you analysis of one of Fortnite's most anticipated players. A pro player you guys have been asking for in the comments. He's part of Sentinels, a lesser known but respected organization with a lot of amazing players. It's not Animal, sure isn't Carose, and although Aspect is insane, it's honestly not him either. The player I'm talking about is Sen Bugga, who slowly grinded his way into recognition. Sentinel saw his potential and picked him up ASAP. Now he's somebody we'd all love to duo with. And if you want to get good enough to be a duo with a player like Bugga, definitely check out our newest feature, InstaPro. Play with the best coaches in the industry and learn what it takes to win. So, before we get into this, we need to ask the question, what exactly makes him so incredible? Bugga's a three-time world qualifier, but he's not only proven his skill in the pro scene, he can also stomp your favorite creative warriors too. We're going to be doing analysis and commentary on some of his recent insane games. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment letting us know which pro you'd like to see next. Okay, first up, Endgame. In this video, we're going to watch Bugga clutch up after being left alone in a Duos World Cup qualifiers match. In spite of the many hardships he goes through, his goal never changes. And you too can reach this level, with practice of course. Bugga sees a faraway circle, and a long game ahead of him. Luckily, he's rocking a good loadout. Now the first thing I notice is that he doesn't rotate early. But why? It's like he's glued on to getting a kill. He's then forced to pop his last means of rotation to somewhere safe. As he lands, he's not giving up on the idea of a free kill. Sick wall replace right here. Bugga placed a ramp as well, so the enemy couldn't counter with a ramp. If you notice, the enemy was totally bewildered and had no idea which way the ramp would be edited. Side note, if you place either a ramp or cone inside somebody's box, you basically win that fight. He easily outplays Hogman and his duo, making it look like cake. I'll be the first one to say this, that's some fast tunneling. Practice this in playgrounds. Now check this out. What a lucky break Bugga gets that a player's just shooting and doesn't even know Bugga is behind him. And pop pop. Rest in peace. Bugga, always on his toes, prepared for the worst of the worst. Look at this sick edit play. He easily outmaneuvered those two enemies and got away. This is why I keep telling you guys, Fortnite is like chess. There's so many different moves you can make. Top pros are continually coming up with smart and effective decisions. He's lucky enough to come across mats and continues pushing towards victory. He gets tied up with an enemy and takes him out. This is the type of reactionary speed we all need. Now I want you to focus on how Bugga plays the circle. He isn't on high ground, he doesn't even have health, but he's playing as if he's the last one rotating inwards, using the environment to his advantage. Bugga manages to chart himself a good position and waits for the stars to align to make big plays. Bugga knows that at this time, anything could happen. How many times have we all been to late game and boom, a shot hits us for 150, sealing our fate. This is why pro players are always on guard all the time. Bugga rotates while keeping all angles covered. You can really see the awareness of these high level players in action. He keeps the dream alive by dropping down, looking for an opportunity. Bugga sees it and obliterates tendons with a headshot. He manages to secure even more mats, then pushes into a circle, playing it smart by staying around already built structures. One fundamental that Bugga puts into play here is movement. Notice how he is constantly moving. Doesn't give his enemies the ability to pinpoint him. I probably would have been caught sitting here and gotten blasted back to the loading screen. Whoops. At this point, it's a solo lobby. There are five top players left and Bugga isn't in the best of circumstances. He's in the middle and players are swarming him. Bugga, striving to survive till the end, winds up eliminating Cloud from TSM in a turtle fight. Watch as Frosty rains down fire from above. Bugga is hit. He's now down to 50 HP, but he keeps a dream alive and eliminates Wiggs, squaring himself in a one versus one. Frosty, with the absolute advantage here, just sprays Bugga mercilessly. He uses line of sight to reposition himself and manages to pop off a mini. With the Storm and Frosty chasing Bugga, he's in for a tough fight. He decides to go all in, because if the fight gets to Storm damage, Frosty will take the cake. Bugga goes full berserk and nails Frosty with a beautiful flick, winning the game. That's the sort of clutch that deserves a round of applause. I love how hyped he is after this win. 
Now, there are three important takeaways from this clip. First off, we witnessed high-level turtling. It's important, guys. Gotta practice it. As players are getting better and better, you have to learn it. Second, we saw awareness of the highest caliber. Not only is this type of attention crucial to high-level play, it can take you a long way in many aspects of life. And third, even though Bugga was alone and he came across super tough situations, he kept his goal, the goal to win. This clip shows precisely what Bugga's made of. Pure skill, talent, and quick as lightning. He turns his 20-player lobby into chow. He's able to get himself out of the worst situations through sheer insanity. This is the reason some people consider him one of the best players in the world. But he didn't get here through pure talent alone. The man grinded over and over, and so should you. Bugga isn't exactly in a bad spot here. He's in the air with a decent loadout, and more importantly, a rocket launcher. Just look at how fast this guy tunnels. Practice in playgrounds, guys. Remember, practice makes perfect. Bugga puts all the essentials that some of us overlook into action. Right as you shoot your rocket, make your move. With a single rocket, he earns the inner angle and denies high ground. Once again, high ground is literally impossible to hold against a rocket launcher. But oh no, Bugga hits himself. But then look at him. Instead of panicking, he turtles up, keeps his cool, and heals up. Most of us probably would have panicked and started complaining. Side note. Guys, I don't know if you can relate, but I feel like every time somebody starts complaining, the game turns against them, right? Tell me if you feel the same way. Comment below or complain below. <laughs> Bugga knows he needs the siphon because of his rocket launcher mistakes. He eagerly looks to get a kill. Just look at how quick he edits and resets them to avoid return fire. This is exactly the kind of gameplay you need to have in these lobbies. Bugga does not want to give up on the high ground. So he just keeps punishing them with rockets. He's determined to take it, and it's gonna pay off in just a second. Here's the payoff. He knows by shooting multiple rockets with many enemies above him, one of them is bound to be hit by it. Bugga, attentively watching his ammo, knows he has just a few shots left. After knocking people off the high ground, he turtles and whoops, he's caught spamming traps. Some of you may have thought Bugga did this for no reason, but I'd like to correct you and say that he didn't. The reason he placed traps down is that he heard many opponents all around his box. By placing traps, not only deters them, but they switch focus. Because who wants to get trap killed? Bugga's eyes grow wide as he sees an opportunity for high ground. Instead of pacing normally to the circle, he takes an alternate route. And he gets high ground with ease. Always go for the creative play. Fantastic results can come from it. Bugga with high ground and an RPG? Yeah. We all know how this story ends. As the enemies fight for their life down below, Bugga drops a barrage of rockets from above and claims the victory. And now for the takeaways from this clip. Number one, whenever things don't go your way, don't panic. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Complaining can not only have detrimental effects on your mind, but it will also cost you the game. Bugga showed composure like no other. Number two, Bugga knows how dangerous high ground is. So he doesn't allow the players above him to move without punishing them with his rocket launcher. The central point is to use what you have available to you. Many times we have certain loadouts and we need to utilize what we have, not wish we had something else. And the third takeaway is to be creative. Don't be afraid to let your creativity run wild. Often, the more creative player wins. As we saw with Bugga taking an alternate route to the circle instead of playing by the safe zone. Okay, here's the third and final clip. This one really caught my eye, and you'll see why. Bugga is not only a beast at tournaments and top tier lobbies, he's a creative warrior too. In this clip, we're gonna show you what you'd be up against fighting somebody like Bugga. Like I said, this is some eye-popping stuff. If you wanna learn how to do this kind of stuff, start practicing build fights right now. Bugga is in a creative build fight. This is where many pros practice their building skills. It requires very quick reaction speed, coupled with good aim. Start off by doing 90s, and the person with the faster 90s usually takes the lead. Unless you're Bugga, of course. There are many in-depth tutorials and analysis on how to do these techniques in action, including our very own website, of course. If you take a closer look, every time Bugga goes for the high ground, he places a wall and a pyramid behind him. That way, if the enemy lurks above him, 
he won't be able to shoot him. Many of these core fundamental tactics make a world of a difference. You just need to apply them. Some of them include high ground retake method and the cone jump. Bug catches his enemy ramping up and counters him with a wall and a pyramid. He's then able to edit through and get a nasty shot off. This sort of seals the deal. After the enemy took 170 damage, do you really think he's going to win? This technique Bugga uses to chase his opponent is called the Doug Dima Dome. It completely cuts off your opponent's ability to ramp towards you, and if you practice it enough, you can also edit into a ramp if you ever need to go for high ground. And there you have it. So let us know what you think. Is Bugga as good as they say he is? He's already proven he's a top dog with his qualifications, but does he honestly deserve the title best player in the world? Comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Also, notify us who you'd like to see next, because remember, we're here for you guys. As always, thanks for watching.